another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Big E. Today we're going to be looking at this beautiful Roadmaster Rescue Chronograph from Ball. This watch is beautiful. It's coming in at a price of $25.99, suggested retail price. It's available right now at ArizonaFineTime.com. Come check this one out. It's available right now. But before we learn any more about this one, here's a little bit more about Arizona Fine Time. Arizona Fine Time is located in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I'll leave a link to the website in the description. They stock many, many luxurious and great brands like Maurice Lacroix, Seiko, Seiko Lux, Tutima, Luminox, Laco, Mule Glissute, and exclusive brands like high-end G-Shock, Accutron, Ball, and many, many others. Come check us out, and you're going to love what you see. Thanks. Okay, guys, we're back now. This is the Ball Rescue uh, Timer Chronograph, and this uh, is beautiful. It has the uh, venerable 7750 Valjo uh, module in, in here, uh, tweaked by ball and it is beautifully decorated we'll see that in one second um, on this one you get the day date over here at three o'clock you get um, the first 15 well the first 20 minutes graduated in this dive style uh, bezel which is unidirectional and this is a fully loomed bezel 120 clicks you have a running indicator over here instead of a second hand you can just see a little window where it changes from black to white. Can you see that good? And now you have two sub dials, uh, one at the 12 o'clock, one at the six o'clock, and those are your totalizers for your um, chronograph. Now this is set up, if you look at the top here, graduated for 15 pulsations. That is so that you can read somebody's pulse. So if you, or a, a first responder or something this is a great watch for you because you hold the person's wrist and then you start the pulsation and then when you go to 15 pulsations um, you read the chronograph and that'll tell you the person's uh, heart rate or something like that anyway so that's what it's set up for it's like a doctor's chronograph um, and that's what the pulsations uh, scale is now you have a bicolored loom on this one and it is in a tritium but you also get super luminova the bezel is fully loomed and then you have super luminova um, on the dial and along with tritium markers and uh, tritium on the hour and the um, the uh, minute hand now they're skeletonized at the tip but they are sword style hands i um, only seen these hands on balls so they are like the, the ball um, traditional kind of hands on a lot of their watches you get a sign crowned uh, pump pushers on this one no screw down 100 meters the crown is screwed down but the pushers aren't you get 100 meters of water resistance you get a, a screw down back and this is all 316 steel and this caliber is beautifully decorated as you can see there's prolaging everywhere there's um, uh, heat fired blue screws on this one you can see that too this is a beautifully beautifully decorated movement now that back glass is also a uh, sapphire and the front is sapphire with anti-reflective coating on there and let's check out the loom on this one I'm going to light this up with the um, black light and then I'll do a full dark shot to see what we can see. Now this is going to be your transition loom right here. As you can see the sub dials are loomed but when I hit it with the black light this is what you'll see at night. You'll see the different colors, the blue, the orange, the yellow and this comes through really nice um, in total darkness. Anybody that owns one of these ball watches they'll attest that this is the best loom in the business.
I'm trying to give you a better look at that. It's always difficult to show these uh, tritium watches. Maybe there you go right there. So it is really nice. And this is a spectacular uh, light show at night. See that? So just trust me, um, this is the best in the business. Now, this case is all brushed. As you can see, it's all business. H-Link style bracelet affixed with screws. See that? Twin butterfly deployant. Signed right there, ball. Twin trigger deployant. You do get um, uh, half links on, on this one. Real nice, wonderful drape. This watch is just nice. Now look at the bezel. You can see the bezel has these teeth cut out in there. Really good grip and feel. Really nice sound too. On a unidirectional bezel. Now you can also use this to um, time other events. It doesn't have to be pulsations. And this watch is just fantastic. Now let me move the hand out of the way show you that date box if you look up close you get the day and the date in the split date box and then you have two small tritium tubes right here small tritium tubes at the 12 and small tritium tubes to the side at the 6 but then the rest are going to be those bigger uh, T100 tubes so this watch it's just going to be a complete and total freak um, when it comes to nighttime viewing. Now, let's take a quick measurement of this one. 43 millimeter case, about 15 millimeters thick. And then with the male ends, it's going to be about 57, but the case is coming in right at 54. So it does have a long wingspan on there. And for that, I would suggest this for about a wrist of six um, inches or bigger. But this watch is just really heavy duty. It's nice. This clasp is like a, um, a ship's anchor. And let me show you what this looks like on my wrist before we go. And these ball watches, they really punch above their weight when it comes to quality. That's what it looks like on my wrist, which is 7.25 inches. So it doesn't look bad. So let me know what you guys think about this one. My name is Big E. That's the watch once over for today. I'll catch you guys on the next video. God bless. Please subscribe. And thank you for watching.